Hey, what's going on? Zach Crawford here. And in this video, we're going to talk about how to become an affiliate millionaire. And I'm going to share with you my experiences of how I've been able to do it and also how you can do it even if you suck at selling. So what I'm going to do here in a minute is I'm going to use my little iPad. I'm actually going to draw on the screen and explain these concepts to you because me personally, I like to learn um, by, by both hearing and also watching somebody lay it out um, on paper, so to speak. I think it helps the brain really attach the ideas. Now, I'm going to warn you, I'm not the best artist, so you're going to have to bear with me, but here's the thing. I've been doing a couple videos on the channel the last couple days about what it takes to get to basically $10,000 a month in affiliate marketing. And really the same thing that will get you to $10,000 a month will scale you up to a bigger level, even to make a million dollars. It's just doing more of what works basically. Um, obviously you got to get a little bit better at what you do, but I'm going to break down the big idea for you. Now, this is not tactics like how to do this, how to do that. And this is where most people that have never made a lot of money, they think that like tactics like learning Facebook ads or uh, learning a specific marketing method is what's going to make them a millionaire and that's not really it so a lot of people that go into affiliate marketing they don't make much money and it's not because affiliate marketing doesn't work this is the same thing for Shopify this is the same thing for Amazon FBA it's the same thing for my other business model which is a marketing agency I see it with every single business model and what I can tell you is what I'm going to teach you here is the concept that I apply to every single business and it went it's it's what I've used to go from like struggling and not making much money because of how I thought to learning the big idea of how you actually create money because money is simply an idea so here's the thing I'm going to switch over to my my computer screen now I'm really going to draw out all these ideas but to go into this the reason that I don't um like the, even the whole thing of like becoming a millionaire, the way people think about it is they're going into it wrong. So here's what people come to me a lot of times and say, they're like, Zach, I'm going to make a million dollars. And what happens is a lot of times people come to me because they've seen what I've done. They've seen some of my successful students who've made multiple six figures and even some of my millionaire students. And they're like, I'm going to do what, you know, so-and-so did, or I'm going to do what you did. Or they look at somebody else they see online. They're like, I'm going to do this. And they usually don't like my response. And the first thing I say is, have you even made $100 yet? And then they, they just kind of get quiet and they're like, no, but I want to make a million dollars. And I'm like, you're, you're not quite getting my point here. You first need to make your first $100. Then you make $1,000. Then you make you know $5,000 or $10,000 a month. And then from there, you, you actually work on making $20,000 and get more and more consistent. Now, really what will get you to $10,000 a month will get you to a million dollars in a year. With that being said, you have to learn to tweak things. You have to learn to get better every single day. You have to learn to work through the obstacles. You have to learn to think like a millionaire, which thinks different than somebody who doesn't make money. And that's what the real big idea of this video is. I want to help you figure out like how you go from stage one, which is people who struggle to get sales and they make a little bit of sales. And in, in my opinion, like even, even somebody who makes six figures um, in a business model, they've not quite figured it out yet. I see some tons of people, for instance, and we're going to talk about this Lamborghini here in a minute, but there's people who make six figures and they're going out and buying supercars and like they can afford the payment, but they don't factor in all the other stuff. And like, for instance, you know, if something happens, you can go broke. And so I want to help you think like an entrepreneur that actually become, you know, a millionaire. Somebody, if you want to make a, a, a million dollars with affiliate marketing, right? Or you want to make a million dollars with Shopify or any business model you go into, you have to think like a millionaire. It's not just tactics and doing things. So let's talk about stage one and then stage two. So stage one um, is what I often teach people. And this is kind of like what we all start out with. And, and the reason I teach that is because I understand most people want to get sales rather quickly. And the reason being is, is because a lot of times we're focused on our own selfish desires. When all of us get into business, it's about us, right? We're, we're not going, I want to help people and I want to do things for other people. It's usually like we want to buy a Lamborghini or we want a nice house or we want to help our kids go to college. We have some kind of usually reason that's more about us. It's not about uh, impacting other people's lives. And when I started, I started out of desperation, which by the way, is not a good way to start into any business. I actually got hit by a drunk driver. I was $50,000 in debt. And so I was desperate to make money. And usually when you're desperate to make money, you never make any money. So I want you to think of this and, and girls, guys, you all can relate to this. But if you're a guy and you go up to a girl and you're really excited, like, Hey, what's going on? And like you're super excited. You come off as a creeper and the girl can feel your desperation compared to if you walk up to her and you're confident and you just introduce yourself feel like, Hey, uh, who's this? You know, and that's how it works in the online world, right? But most people are operating out of desperation. So even when they do stage one, like I'm going to teach you here, a lot of times they don't do it effectively because they're focused on themselves and they're so desperate to get a sell. So here's what stage one really is, right? In the beginning, you know, this is you. And I want you to understand this as an affiliate, 
you are basically, you know, the middleman. And that's what a lot of people don't get, right? So you're here and all you're thinking about is is making the Benjamins and it's on your mind 24/7. And then over here, you you have the products you're selling and the people that are going to buy them, right? So that's that's one, that's two. So what a lot of people are trying to do is they sign up for affiliate marketing and a lot of times they get so excited and they literally go out and like post their link on Facebook. Uh, they, they spam YouTube comments. I see that every day uh, that they, they go into forums and just like post, you know, anything they can find to think that they're going to get a sell, people are going to buy. And, and I want you to think about that. Nobody's a robot. Nobody goes and buys just because they see a, a sales page. A lot of times like people are skeptical, right? And when you do stuff like this, you're going to have a hard time making sales. I see it all the time. Like even when I educate, educate people on what to do, they still go do this. They'll like immediately log into their Facebook and post like their affiliate link and nobody cares and they can't figure out why they're not getting sales. So the beginning stages, I always teach people to basically um, review products. And this is more the stage where you're focusing on getting early sales, proving to yourself that this business works and that you can actually make money online. And the reason I teach people to start out with this a lot of times is because of the fact that it really it really helps them see that like if I can do like one sell, five sales, 10 sales, like if I just focus on this, I can turn this into a full-time career. So this means you go out there and like create videos, uh, maybe it's like a blog post and basically what these these they're doing is is you know they're like they're talking about the pros and cons of things and they're pointing to the product the problem is like I said most people are, are not even gonna make sales with this and here's why here's what most people do they do what I did when I first started so people and actually somebody asked me the other day so if you're watching this video again this is this is my backstory about how I started they want to know how did you get started Zach so I started out with, you know, doing agency years ago for basically an agency is doing marketing services. I was learning for offline business owners. When I got into affiliate marketing, I got into creating niche sites or niche, whatever you want to call it. And basically these are, are, are basically, um, they're, they're sites that are around a really tight niche subject. I did everything from STDs, um, and I'm not exactly proud of that one, but you know, sometimes when people have a problem, they want to solve the pain, right? And I was going to be the one to sell them the, the cream that will stop the itch. Yeah. So um, I would do uh, health niches, I mean, travel, everything you can think of. But one site I remember pop, like in particular, and this is what really taught me this when, when like I actually found a mentor, it kind of pointed out what I was doing wrong is HVAC. And if you don't know what HVAC is, this is heating, ventilation, and air conditioning. And what I was doing, there wasn't there wasn't a problem of lack of taking action. I was very hungry. I wanted to get the results. You know, most people don't take the first step because they're scared. I was not that person. I, I wanted to get results, so I was taking action. The problem was I was taking action and doing things the wrong way, which, you know, I hear people all the time. Somebody recently even posted on my my Facebook page, but I did this, 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 and it didn't work. And the one thing I always tell people, is that other people in real estate that make money? Yes. Other people in real estate don't make money. Yes. Other people that make money in affiliate marketing. Yes. Other people that don't make money in affiliate marketing. Yes. Other people that make money in Shopify. You get my point, right? Just because you're doing things doesn't necessarily mean that that you're going to get the result. You got to do things and learn to be, you know, strategic. You got to learn to think outside the box a little bit. You got to learn to think for yourself. And entrepreneurs, they figure it out. And people that are not meant to be entrepreneurs, they quit at the first sign of defeat. Well, I wasn't quitting, but the problem was is I was too busy focusing on me. All I cared about was getting sales, right? And this is the mindset where most people struggle. Even if you do things right, even if you're doing this method and you're doing it effectively where you're teaching the pros, the cons, which we'll talk about in a minute, I was not at that stage yet. I was still at the stage where I only cared about Zach. I wanted to make money. Uh, I wanted to pay off my debt. I wanted a better life for myself. It was never about like the people that I was trying to serve. And so here's my point really quick. If you want to make money, this is the people that you're trying to sell to, right? That's a three-legged person, by the way. So if you want to, if if you want to make money, you 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 are trying to sell something to somebody else. So money comes from other people, right? Money is an idea. It's an idea of something that they'll trade their money for. So here's a perfect example to go back to this Lamborghini, right? I paid thirty dollars for this. I valued this thing, maybe it was 20, I don't know, something like that. I paid like $30 for this thing and I valued it more than my money. And the reason I valued it more than my money is, is it's my dream car and I'm gonna end up buying it. Um, you know, I had a certain amount in my head I had to make before I can buy my car. And so money is an idea. If you wanna get money, you gotta get it from other people, right? So when you're doing this, 
and you're only focusing on yourself and you're just like, I want to make money, I want to make money, I want to make money, and you're out there trying a bunch of things, but you're doing them for yourself, you're not going to get money. Does that make sense? Like, give me some comments um, below. If you watch this video and you go through the whole process, let me know, like, what's your biggest lesson you learned in this video? I just want to see if you're paying attention. So when I was doing this HVAC site, right, I was creating blog posts. And this blog, these blog posts, there's like 75 of them on here. There was not um, any, like, there was not like a lack of content. It wasn't a micro niche site like people used to teach back in the day. Um, I had a lot of those, you know, I, I created 150 sites. A lot of them were like the little five, 10 page websites and, and you rank them in Google and then hopefully you get sales. The problem with this method is most people are creating really shitty sites like me. And so what I was doing is I was going out there and there was no Fiverr back when I first started. Like I feel old. I feel like a grandpa. And, and, and I was getting like articles on, you know, outsourcing sites, places like the Warrior Forum. And, and these are like, like, you know, 5,000 word blog posts. So I had tons of these, like literally like, you know, 75 of these articles on the site. And it was all around like keywords people were typing in, like HVAC training, HVAC technician. Is HVAC a good job? Um, the problem was is my articles were really crappy. I was cheap. I wasn't thinking about like, okay, if somebody wants to buy something, remember money is an idea, right? If, if somebody is going to buy what I'm trying to recommend and what I was recommending at that time was training um, to basically become an HVAC technician. And the whole site was based around like going to college and, and becoming an HVAC technician. Now, it never really occurred to me because all I was focused on was making money. I mean, I obviously understood the idea of keyword research and figuring out what articles and things people are typing in the search engine, but it didn't even hit me that like, okay, these articles need to be good. They need to really educate the person on the pros, the cons of becoming an HVAC technician. Like what kind of what kind of money can you make after, you know, say one year, five years, 10 years? What kind of advancement do you have in your career? I wasn't thinking about like things that really matter to the person. I was just thinking about just land on my page and then hurry up and click this banner and go get this college offer so I can get paid my $300 commission. And this is how most, you know, affiliates like work, you know, regardless if they're in the weight loss niche, they're in the make money niche, it doesn't matter what niche they go into. All, all, all a niche is, is just basically it's a big idea or a topic people are passionate about and they're trying to solve a, like a problem and you're connecting them to the problem, right? As an affiliate, you are the middleman. And if you're going out there and doing this stuff and you're not adding any value to the world, this is why you're not making money. If you're going and spending five, ten dollars, even twenty dollars on a crappy article, and and your goal is to rank that in the search engines, or you're even doing a video, and in the video you're like, this this product is the most amazing thing. It has nothing wrong with it. It's the best thing ever. All these other products suck, but not this one. You come off as a creeper, or you come off as a very low value person. The site sucks. Your video sucks. You're not even thinking about the person on the other side. And so here's what I always tell people. You know, the people that you're catering to, the customers, you know, they have desires, they have hopes, they have dreams, you know, they have fears, they have anxiety, you know, things that are keeping them up at night that they're thinking about every day. And all you're thinking about is making money, right? But you're not thinking about what really matters, which is the person. Because if you want that person to go down here and buy something so you make money, you have to solve a problem. And the thing is, is you don't need to be an expert. Like if you just, you can just be a good researcher and put the information they need in front of them and make a sell. Like if you don't have to be the expert you think you do, I don't care if you go in the make money online niche, all you're doing is finding something somebody's trying to learn and you're connecting the dots with something that can help them. Whether it's a tool, it's a, a, a training program, it doesn't matter. You're helping solve their problem and you're bridging the gap. So here, here's the person, they're searching, you know, searching for the product. And then here is you, and all you're doing is taking them from here to the product, and you're connecting the dots for them. You're helping bridge the gap as to why this product's going to help them solve their problem, why it's going to make things easier, why it's going to you know solve that stress that they're going through. And amateur affiliates don't think about this. Even if you're doing things right and you're reviewing products, and you're doing the methods that even I was teaching. You know, a lot of times you're, you're just looking at the money these people that you're idolizing are making and you don't realize that like we're actually doing things strategic. We learn from our mistakes. We learn how to do things better. We learn that it's not just about us. And that's where I started to learn how to make a lot of money online. When I realized, you know, Zach, if you want to make a lot of money, you have to help somebody else. You have to add value to somebody else's life. And the story I always tell that taught me this lesson. I was in the Philippines. If you don't know my backstory, 
I, I literally like was fifty thousand dollars in debt, and I just gambled it. I, I, I sold everything I owned. I had about twelve thousand dollars in my name. I bought a one-way ticket to the Philippines with a dream to figure out how to make a successful business. I went broke very fast, and I had to learn to like you know fight on my toes. I created an outsourcing business, and then when I got into affiliate marketing heavy, it wasn't until I almost went broke. And during Christmas, I, I, I was pretty much down to my last money, right? And I rented a moped and I drove around and I took out $300 of my bank account that I did not have to give. And I went and just gave it to people that, that like needed something more than me. And there was one specific woman who literally was working 18 hours a day in, in 7-Eleven and she couldn't even afford to buy her kids presents. And like, I just felt bad for her because of the fact that she was, you know, working all day long. She was telling me like how like, oh, I can't wait to get off work. I'm not going to be able to see my kids today. And she's like, and she's like, I just, because I could tell she was having a down day and I asked her what was wrong. And, and then she started just like, you know, when you ask somebody their, what's going on, they want to tell you about their problem, right? And this is my, my point. Your customers are out there. They got problems and they have things they care about and you're focused on selling things, right? But I just asked her like, well, you know, are you having a bad day? Like, are you okay? And then doo -doo 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 -doo, she just starts telling me everything. And so I gave her like $25, which, you know, in America, that's okay money, right? But in the Philippines, that's like life-changing. She literally broke down, cried, gave me a hug, and said she's going to be able to go buy her family or her, her kids specifically presents for Christmas. I went home and bawled like a baby. Now imagine a guy covered in tattoos just crying his eyes out. And it made me realize why I was not making the money I wanted to make. I was being selfish. See, it's, it's making me emotional to talk about this because, like, if it wasn't for me going through this experience— I don't think I ever truly would have really got this. Even though I had a mentor at the time, it's like, Zach, you're just making crappy sites. It's not helping anybody. I still didn't get it. But I got it in that moment when I realized, like, I'm not adding value to the world. I'm not adding value to anybody's life. And that's why I'm not making money. I'm focused on myself. And so that was when I switched to stage two. And this is when you start making money hand over fist. I don't care if it's affiliate marketing, you want to be an affiliate millionaire. I don't care if it's Shopify, it's, it's whatever the hell business you want to go into. It works across the board, right? And when I realized this, this is when I started making a lot of money. I started saying, okay, Zach, if you want to make a lot of money, that means you got to add a lot of value. And a lot of people think like adding a lot of value means, you know, just stacking a bunch of crap, you know, on, on an offer. It's not. Um, value is really subjective, you know, kind of examples like the Lamborghini, right? It's what the person perceives it as. So value could be something simple. Like a lot of people think, as I said, about the expert. And I learned this a, a long time ago. And the movie Catch Me If You Can um, with Frank Abagnale, I think that's how you pronounce his name properly. It's played by Leonardo DiCaprio. And he basically faked being a teacher um, at a college. And when they actually, you know, caught him, I said, how did you, how did you go about like, you know, teaching the class? He goes, easy. I was just one chapter ahead in the book. I just read one chapter ahead in the book. And that's what it takes to be, you know, an expert, right? Like, because you're, you're not going to teach, um, you know, if you were in the make money a niche, for example, I want to give you this example because people say things like you can't, you can't teach how to make money before you make money. And that's right, you can't. Because if you've not made money, you can't ethically teach people. What you're doing is you're bridging the gap and connecting people. Don't never fake it till you make it. Um, same thing in weight loss, right? Like if you're not an expert and you're a little bit overweight, don't be trying to proclaim that you know everything, right? What you do is you share tips, you share value, and you, you, you build goodwill with people because people buy from people they know, they like, and they trust. So to go back to the make money niche, right? You're going to bridge the gap and help people find the tools, find the programs or the people, or the mentors that can help them. You're not going to pretend to be the expert. And what you do is you share your journey. So let's pretend that you're overweight, right? And if you're overweight, I'm not making fun of you. Understand last year I was like 40 pounds overweight and I had to lose the weight. So let's just say like right now, um, you're, you're overweight, right? You got a few extra pounds to lose and you know, you got a spare tire, right? And but you're on a mission to lose weight and you love you're so passionate about this that you share your journey. If you just started sharing like tips of like what shakes you're drinking. Um, I don't know what that popped down. I had a pop up on my iPad. Bear with me for a second. OK, so you share what shakes you're drinking to to lose the weight. You share um, your struggles of what you're going through. So you talk about like, you know, man, I woke up today and, you know, I just feel like this. But this is what I did in order to get back, you know, feeling great again. Um, you share your, your gym routine or what exercise program you're doing. You know, like are you doing keto? Are you doing intermittent fasting? People like to follow you on a journey. This is how you build goodwill. So what you're going to do if you want to actually, you know, get to make money is you're going to focus on an audience. And this is what people refer to as a niche or a niche, however you want to pronounce it. You focus on people, like people that are interested in something. You know, like when you're up here in stage one, 
you're probably reviewing every damn product that you can you can promote. You don't care. You're just trying to make a sale, right? And it works. It works. It will, it will show you to make your first money. But you are not going to become an affiliate millionaire. You're not going to become a millionaire in general in any business model if you're focused on just serving anybody and everybody. you got to build around an audience of people that are passionate about something. So if I was going in the weight loss niche or I was on like a, if I was in the make money online niche and I'm just starting to make money online, I would just share my journey. I would share what I was doing and recommend the things that I'm using and you will make sales because you're building an audience. But here's what people don't realize. When you build the audience, once you have the audience, you literally can recommend products. Just like I just talked about. Hey guys, check it out. I'm actually just now starting into Facebook ads and I wanted to show you the course that I actually just got that I'm, uh, it's teaching me how to get leads at a dollar a piece or it's helping me get sales. And then you would show the product you're using and recommend it. Or this is the tool, you know, this is the tool that I'm using right now to build my sales funnels. And this is how, how, how easy it is to work. Click the link below to check it out. This is how you do it. But you're building around an audience that cares about things and it allows you to grow. This is how you make the million, right? So I want you to realize if you're just going after any little sell, you're going to make sales maybe here and there if you're lucky, but you're not building an asset. Compared to this, the audience is an asset. I want you to realize that once you have the audience, it's as simple as just asking them a question. Hey, what do you struggle with? Remember what I said about how I learned from the girl about asking, you know, like, are you okay? Are you having a bad day? And then she just wanted to tell me everything. This is exactly what I do. Any of my customers that have been following me for years know this is exactly what I do. I always say like, hey guys, what, what do you need help with? I never guess. I never I never try to, to pretend that I know all the answers. If I don't know something, you know what I do? I go out there and learn it. I literally do. I'll go out there and buy a course. I'll start testing things myself. I'll start going through the trials and errors. You know what I do? I just share my thoughts. I share the experiences that I'm going through. I've done this in every single niche that I've gone through once I figured this out. I'm just sharing tips. So like right now, if you're like, well, Zach, I don't really know where to start. Okay, here's where you start. Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Let's see, a blog. Um, I'm just going to go with those. Pick one. One. Not not all four. Not, not five. Not ten traffic sources. One. And the reason being is you're one person, right? I want you to realize that if, if you want to have success, let me go down here really quick. And I didn't talk about this earlier, but I should have. If you want success, I want you to understand it is not an event. The event is the money that you're trying to make, right? Most people are focused right here. They're focused on the event. Put a big red X through that. Like you're focused on making the money and you're focused on the wrong things. It's a process, a process. So if you want to make a million dollars, you got to do the things daily that a millionaire does. Then, then it takes you to the event. And all you got to do is focus on getting 1% better every single day. You understand that? 1% better every single day. So how you do this is you start sharing content on the, one of the platforms. You know, I personally think video is the best. It allows you to bond with somebody. It allows you to get to know their character. It allows you to tell, like, you know, are they are they funny? Are they amusing? Are they a smart ass? Are they are they more like reserved? You know, I get people all the time like Zach. I'm I'm not confident like you. I'm not. I don't make jokes. I'm not. I can't. I can't do this. Whatever. And like, if you seen my first videos, you would laugh. I was like, oh my God, this is this is Zach. Like, I was so nervous. It actually took me 30 days in order to do it. I got drunk and I still couldn't do it. And it wasn't until I got out of my head and I practiced and I practiced and I practiced. Remember, one percent better. I practiced thousands of times in order to to do the videos that you see now. Like, I want you to realize when you look at successful people and you're just looking at their success, you're looking at their highlight reel. You're not looking at the process they went through. So if you want to become an affiliate millionaire, you got to do the process of whatever it takes to get there. And that's going to be different for you. What, what I've done is not necessarily going to be the same thing you did. So if you just know, like right now, you're like, Zach, there is no way in hell I'm doing video. Then that's fine. That's fine. I think that what you should do then is maybe pick Facebook or, I don't know, pick Instagram. And like learn everything you can about that platform. What will happen is as you start to get some success, you start feeling more confident in your abilities of sharing tips and things you're doing, you might start to transition back over and say, you know what, all right, I'm ready for video. And that's what happened for me. I started right here. I started with a blog because the idea of video terrified me. But after I did it enough, I finally said, all right, I got to learn this video thing. Like it's videos taking over the web. And this was like years ago, right? But now it really is. Like pretty soon it's, it's projected it's going to be 80% of the web is video. Like that's, that's huge. And trust me, when somebody will spend time to bond with you on a video, that's going to be a higher quality customer and somebody that's going to probably stay with you for a long time. Now, it doesn't really matter what 
piece of or traffic source you choose. I don't care. Just remember that when you are you are building this, you know, if we go back up to our equation here, and I'm skipping around, but I'm doing this for a reason. I want you to, to, to digest this, pay attention to what I'm drawing and saying and really absorb it. This is what you need to care about. No matter where you're at, this ugly little circle here, people have desires, they have hopes, they have dreams, they have fears, they have anxiety, and, and they're looking to learn something for you. Remember, money is an idea. So if you want people to buy from you, you got to add some kind of value to their life, right? So you're probably thinking, but Zach, I don't, I don't know, you know where to get content. I don't know how to create content. Okay, you're probably listening to podcasts. You're watching you know, videos. You're reading blogs. You're buying courses. So the first step you do is you actually, like, you got to take action on this stuff for one. I want to touch on that. If you're just consuming, 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 you're going to be in the overwhelmed phase where you're like, I don't know what to do. And you don't know what to do because you're not doing anything. And then you just take in more information thinking that that's going to help you. And you're getting ready to get ready. And you never take action. And then eventually you quit. And so this is how you you beat overwhelmed. So if you're right now in a phase like, Zach, I just, I don't know where to start. This person's saying this. This person's saying that. You got to pick a mentor you trust and, and believe in them and have faith in yourself and take action. So instead of just consuming all this stuff, right, where you get overwhelmed, start sharing tips on your social media channels. You know, share your five best tips on your Instagram post from, from some podcast you listen to. And then if you're worried about, oh, well, that's rehashing, then give credit to the person you learned it from. You know what happens is it doesn't even matter if you're not the person that gave them the tip. They're going to be like, man, this is cool. And they're going to trust you because you're sharing helpful information. This is called syndication. You don't even got to be the original creator. You can be like, I learned so-and-so from this person and then link to their Instagram profile. They're going to build trust and goodwill with you because of the fact that you're sharing helpful tips with them. Trust me. How many times have you shared something with a friend that they didn't take the time to go learn? They're like, oh, that's really cool. Were they pissed off at you? No. But when you try to fake it until you make it and you try to perceive yourself as an expert, this is where the, the whole like ethics comes into play. This is when you know people say, oh, you're teaching people to make money. You haven't made money. Uh, this is when people are going to call you out. Like if you're in the, the fitness niche and you're trying to do it and you're trying to pretend you know everything, but yet you're not like living walking proof of it yet, you can be on your journey. And that's what people care about. They care about watching your journey. Like people love to watch people win, but they also like to watch people lose. And then overcome those losses. Think about why do we like, like, you know, watching, like, say, a Michael Jordan or somebody in sports where they went through all these struggles and, like, yeah, they're an awesome athlete, but then when we hear about their their journey that they went through, like, we bond with them. Why do you think when we watch movies in a, in a movie theater and and the character goes through the struggles and then they overcome the struggles and we get that oh that aha moment and like it just feels all tingly inside and we're rooting for them? It's because we like to watch the hero go on the journey. Nobody likes watching somebody win all the time. And that's why the people out there, like say in the fitness industry, all they do is post selfie shots of how sexy they are and how great they are. And they're like, oh, if you want it, buy my program. But they're never talking about the desires, the struggles, the mental things that they went through in order to get there. And how even some days, you know, some days they feel like shit and they cave in and they cheat on their diet. Or the person who's making a lot of money and they try to portray that they have the perfect life, the perfect marriage, uh, they have all the cars in the house and they're traveling all over the time and they got all this, this awesome life and they never wake up ever depressed. They never wake up frustrated. They never wake up feeling like crap or like they can't do it. Trust me, when you make a bunch of money, you're still going to have those days. You're still going to have the days where you're just like, man, I suck. I'm not good enough. I should quit. You know, I'm a fraud. Like you're going to have all these silly thoughts come up in your head as you're learning to become an expert. And I want you to realize when, when you have this thought in your head about becoming an expert, an expert takes years of doing, right? It's, it's called mastery. And my personal belief is that in order to become an expert, you're going to be doing that for the rest of your life. You're going to be trying to master yourself. It's not about necessarily, you know, just mastering information and knowledge, but it's mastering yourself. It's learning to lead yourself. You know, in order to be a good leader, you must first lead yourself. So if you want to make a lot of money online, you start with yourself internally. And this is why this business model is so amazing as learning to become, you know, an affiliate and learning to be an awesome marketer is because you're getting to sell products that are proven. You're not having to create that stuff yourself. You're not having to, to learn all the shopping cart hookups and all the technical stuff. But the problem is the fact that the barrier to entry is lower. A lot of people just want to cheat the system. They want to do things easy and make easy money and not have to learn any skills that add value to the world or make them better. They just want money to be easily handed to them. 
You know, when somebody wants something for nothing, this is why they never get ahead. Like this is why most affiliate marketers don't make money. This is why they will never become an affiliate millionaire is because they want something for nothing. They're not willing to, to actually become a valuable person. You know, if you look at most people in society, they're not adding value to anyone. They're really self-centered. They're focused on their own selves. If you look at a lot of social media, everything is about them. It's not about other people. So if you want to make a lot of money in affiliate marketing, if you want to make a lot of money in Shopify or an agency or anything you're doing, you must, you must, you must understand you got to go to stage two. And you can start with stage two today. I don't care if you've not made a single dollar. You can start with stage one if you're just like, you just don't have that long-term vision and you're not serious about like playing the long game and actually building a real business. And understand, well, most people just want to get sales quick. That's why I teach people to do that. But what I really wish they would do is start with stage two. I wish they would just start and build things right from the first day. Because if I could go back and start all over again from scratch, I would have like done this. And I would have like focused on the people I'm serving. No matter if I was in the HVAC industry, I was doing it in the weight loss industry, I was doing it in the make money online industry, I would make sure that I'm adding value to other people's lives. And that means like learning myself and then sharing the things I'm learning. So I want you to think about this. If you were in example like the HVAC niche, if you're just outsourcing all the articles and trying to be lazy so everybody does something for you, how do you really expect to to ever, you know, make a lot of money in that that particular niche? Because you're not educating yourself. You need to, it, it's fine if you, you want to do that and you can make a few sales here and there, but if you want to kill it and you want to be one of the top 1% in affiliate marketing, you're going to need to step it up. You're going to need to do the research yourself. You're going to need to create really great content, whether that's video or blog. Personally, I like video because it's easier. I do both. So I want you to realize no matter what you're doing, what business model it is, it's not about you. It's not about your selfish desires. It's not about your frustrations. It's not about how you want to make money. It's not about the car you want to drive or the things that you want. It's about the audience you're serving. You're bridging the gap. As an affiliate marketer, you're not really needed. So if you want to get the sale, you need to help them discover that product. That's what's beautiful about affiliate marketing. A lot of people don't even know the products that are out there they can buy, and you're putting it in front of them. But in order to get that sale, you need to add some kind of value to their life. Help them see the pros, the cons, you know, what you like about it, what you don't like about it. And don't be that desperate person that's just like, it's amazing, you got to get it. Show them the things you like. Show the things you don't like. Think about it. When you go watch a product review on YouTube and somebody breaks down everything they do and don't like, you, you feel like, man, this is a trustworthy person. This this chair is like 500 bucks or 400 bucks. I forget what I paid for it. And I watched a bunch of people do the reviews and a lot of people just talked about it. It's the most amazing chair ever. It has no flaws. And then somebody else actually broke down the things they liked, the things they didn't like. They compared it to some of their old office chairs they had. And I'm like, dude, I'm buying through this person. And it was because I could tell they had integrity. I could tell it was because they cared about me, not just getting a commission. And they actually put effort into making sure that I got all the right answers. That, my friend, is what it takes to become a millionaire in any industry that you want to do. Money is an idea. If you want to get money, you have to get it from other people. So with that being said, I'd love to hear your comment below. Let me know what is your biggest takeaway you learned from this? What are some of the things maybe that you've been doing wrong that you need to switch? Now, next thing I want to say is if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure to do that now because I literally drop videos like this every single day and you're not going to want to miss those. And if you want to go deeper with this, if you really want to learn what it takes to become a super affiliate and actually become an affiliate millionaire, you want to learn how to build the business the right way, from somebody who's actually done it and helped lots of other people do it, I have a description, or I don't have a description. Everybody has a description. I have a link in the description with training that will take you through the whole process and show you how all that fits together. So with that being said, I really hope you got value from this video, um, and I hope that it just opened your idea that it's not all about tactics and things you do, but it's how you think. It's how you approach things. That's how millionaires actually operate. Entrepreneurship is about solving problems, not just padding your own pocket. So with that being said, take care and um, I will see you in the next video.